Good afternoon. Welcome back to Perth to the 2018 Mercure City of Perth Masters. Come to you live from the Jewish Centre in Perth, Scotland. My name is Alan Chalmers. With me is Mary Milne. We're here to do a B-road game between two of the European visiting teams here. Patrick Malberg from Sweden and Alexander Baumann from Germany. Just about underway. The teams are preparing themselves to do their draw the shot challenge to determine Hammer in the first end. Yeah, Team Bowman uh, have already thrown their, their draw, Alan, and they were sitting back at the forefoot. So um, uh, Patrick here's got a fairly tricky job ahead of him to, to outbeat, to, to score that one. So we'll see how he goes. Team Marbergs are looking uh, ready for the contest anyway. They look quite relaxed, quite pleased. And team Bowman also in good form, lots of smiles. So. Yep, extreme close ups, putting them under a little bit of pressure, <laughs> not knowing quite where to look, but uh, yeah. should be a good game, I think. Uh, this is, as I said, it's a B road game, so both these teams have played two games already in the tournament. Both lost their first game last night, or, or last yesterday afternoon, but came back with a win this morning uh, to set this match up. So. Good, hopefully, the damp conditions that were. Unfortunately, um, suffering in Perth this afternoon <laughs> won't be won't make too much of a have an impact on the ice. Uh, the ice makers work very hard to keep it uh, consistent and, and not be affected by the weather. So yeah, ice was pretty good for the game they did this morning. There didn't seem to be any any problems getting at the right speed. Good, good, good swings, late swings, which is what the players really want. So they can get the draws around the guards. Here we go. Here's Yeah, the Patrick's throw was uh, through the house, I think, so he'll need to make a bit of an adjustment here. Just having a look, looks like it might just hang on. I think it's going to be better than the one you saw before, Mary. Well, you know yep. what, it'll be pretty close, actually, I would think. Be quite quite close. They were both uh, reasonable throws there. Good game. We're almost ready to get underway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. I told us to take it away after two. Good game. Good game. Good game. All the all the games on this afternoon are B road games, so every team has played two, won one and lost one. Triple knockout, so they get three lives before they're eliminated. So even if either of these teams was to lose this afternoon, they'd have another game in the sea road. Later on this afternoon? Or I think it's potentially tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Draw, so. The dinner uh, is held this evening. They've got isn't it? Yeah, only one more draw one today. Of, at, one uh, of the great traditions of the of the Masters is the the team dinner on the on the Friday night. Yeah, and it's usually a great night. So we'll try to keep uh, <laughs> the listeners and viewers updated with the scores across the sheets because uh, I know that that can be you know quite interesting. For, for folks. So we'll try and keep you updated, but we'll concentrate on this yeah. uh, on this contest here between Sweden and Germany. So Bow looks like Bowman, Bowman's draw was not, uh, wasn't the winner, so he's going to go first. Uh, just waiting Should for the, wait for the start, waiting for the uh, clarification from the officials okay. that we can actually what get time clocks, I think. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, off we go. So we have Sebastian throwing first. Is it too cold for Patrick? Is it too cold for Patrick here? Well, the sweepers are happy to stand back from yeah, this one. Yeah, I think he's uh, he's in the zone. I think looks like it's probably just going to run in to the ring. It's quite a conventional start nowadays. Lead will try and throw one onto the tee line, yeah. assuming the opposition okay. will then throw a corner guard. That was just going a little deep, so. <laughs> Oh, well, he's <laughs> a wee bit disappointed. <laughs> disappointed, set that end up to, uh, to yeah. be an attacking open game of curling and he's immediately hitting one in the back ring, so yeah. he's setting his stall out early. That, uh, yeah, I suppose it lets his uh, 
Let's his lead settle a little and um, hopefully it won't be all hit for hit, but we'll we'll see. Sebastian just playing the same shot. Strike weight in the back back line. Almost need one of these ones to hit and roll out to ch change the dynamics of this end already. Otherwise, uh, it could be 16 hit, 15 hits in a row here. Yeah. By that time, they'll get to the T line, I suppose. Yeah, that's right, and out the front. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, fairly uh, straightforward hit and stick there. But you know, I guess it's not always easy to, to hit on the nose, so we can give them some credit for, for that. A, a fairly heavy weight, yeah. even aren't they? They're not, they're not taking any chances. Not taking any chances. Not letting a the down weight, and, and here we have another, another hit. And certainly, the games we've seen so far, early on, the, the, the heavier running stones have not drawn at all. So they don't really need to be playing, even if as heavy as they are, because they've got the sweepers. They've got straighter running ice at the beginning. Mm -hmm. However, um, they're, we were the, finding they're, they're the ones down there. So oh. uh, yeah, absolutely. We were finding the four foot lines yesterday. But, um, Early evening, we're just running a little straighter, and depending on release, uh, I think it's maybe playing the the up weight takes takes that out. Takes, of takes the play risk a of bit. handling, yeah. yeah. So we're over the other side in centre line, but I think we're still going to have the same same shot called a down weight kind of uh, maybe an easy hit take out. So. Then three up. I guess in the second game of the day, they know they know the weight of the ice, they know the, the ice conditions. Yeah, there's so a, it's a little bit there's no change. Um, a little bit disappointing that they haven't started off a little bit more aggressively, but um, maybe these both these teams, this may well be their, their style. It's just their play. style. Maybe they don't like taking on the attacking shots too early. They get, know they get themselves into trouble. Eight end game, you don't want to be too far behind early on. And, a short time frame to try and close yep. down the gap. Well, neither of these teams yep. are uh, just working this one a little harder. He's certainly not the same weight that the, the first two th that we saw coming down were still. No, that's a little bit still more right in the nose. Isn't it? Good stuff. Yeah, right in the nose. Good sweeping. Held it straight there when they needed to. Uh, I was just going to say neither of these teams are featuring at the Olympics. Um, no, Bowman was Bowman was in the pre-qualifier in the Czech Republic, but uh, was was eliminated before the playoffs. Oh, okay. And obviously, Marburg has got to get past some guy called Eden to yeah, win well the Swedish championship. That can be tricky, can't it? As uh, <laughs> many's a many's a team has found out. He's got a future in the game, Eden. I hear. Oh well, well, you know, he's getting on now. <laughs> He'll not thank me for that. He's certainly got a lot of years ahead of him. So we're now down to third stones. So this end's just going to play itself out like this, and I don't think we're going to have any. I think it's the only thing I'm thinking is whether uh, the Swedes are going to take their one or try and blank the one, or, or take the one accidentally, oh, or yeah, well, deliver. That's that's all I'm building this end yeah, up for now. That's that's all we've got to hope for. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we saw last night. Um, Rob and I were quite convinced a number of ends that uh, it was going to shape up in a certain way. And and often it did not, so you only need one mistake to completely yeah, turn things. Absolutely. Um, but this both set their stall out for a uh, sim simple straight hitting end here, I think. So, s slight change in the order t in terms of how they throw the stones in the Swedish team. That's uh, Frederick Newman, who's actually skipped the first four stones but then throws third rocks himself. So. Yeah, so, last stones are, are thrown by. Frederick, maybe. No, Frederick just threw those. Oh, Frederick. Oh, so, yeah, sorry. Skips them. Well, they both had the... Oh, now that would have been a close call. Possibly wouldn't have made any difference at the end of the day. 
So I don't think we're going to see a corner guard at this stage. I don't think so, unless he, unless he really gets a split time is wrong. He's going to try and draw to the wings and hope that uh, Alexander Bowman maybe maybe th throws a wide strike and misses on the out on the high side, I guess. But, uh, well, I guess it's nice for him to have having played the, the fairly open end. It, it gives him a chance to throw he gets a draw. To draw weight, yeah. Does pretty well with it. So. No need for any great discussion or uh, hesitation there. From, from Byron. He's quite confident what he needs to do. This will be a hit and run to, to blank the end and, and keep the last stone. This is the only sheet they actually keep the time clocks going uh, across the entire tournament. So maybe these guys know that in the past they've come victim to time clock pressure and are mm -hmm. happy to whiz through the first end sharply. Yeah, I mean there should be plenty of time if you're if you're keeping going and um, not wasting too much time. But it it only needs one end where there's yeah. a lot of thinking or a lot of deliberation and well, it can run away from you and then, as you say, end up the last couple of ends under a bit of pressure when that's when you want a clear head and to be able to, to take your take your time a little more so. Going back to the same spot. Oh, Alexander didn't hit a lot of that stone, so he's maybe thinking that uh, he's got a small chance. Certainly not sweeping, not even no. with the directional sweeping did they c try and get that one back No, down. not at all, they just... Uh, left it to its own devices and as you say it didn't make much contact so Patrick Moberg's first stone first end you might have thought about changing the, the position of this draw do you think or quite happy to go back to that same spot I think they just put it back in roughly the same spot just because uh, Bayman stone hit less than a quarter of the stone I think so they, they may think he's got a weakness on this hand in this in this track yeah he's certainly um, not wasted any time in delivering that stone there he's there you go so this see if his tactics are vindicated if he can blank the first end or whether a wee bit less ice maybe then Bowman was taking. Might throw a heavier weight. Safely done, so we have our blank end. Yep, safely done. Let's see what uh, German team start off with. They may think that. Uh, Marburgs is going to be that defensive, they'll, they'll go oh. more on the offensive. Mm -hmm. well, the, uh, they certainly did rattle through that end because we've not got any other scores to update the, <laughs> on, the, on the other sheets. They're all still in the middle of play, so we can't do any more than, than wait for this uh, second end of, of our feature game to start before we can give any more info, really. Great to see the ice full, though, isn't it, Alan? It is. I think the colour and the spectacle, and seeing the ice ring full. And we we know that the international teams love coming to the Perth Masters. It's a high calibre competition on great ice, uh, in, a, in a really good venue. So it is one of the popular stops on the tour. There's never a never really a great uh, struggle in filling the, the the team numbers. Just uh, it's not always the case for other. For other two minutes. My heart's I sinking. I, I think this is right just <laughs> into the house. This is going back in. This is terrible. The only thing, that, the only thing might see is it might actually go through the rings, in which case uh, the Swedish team can't hit it. Yeah, yeah. Well, no. No. It's going to hang on. They surely. Well, will he hit it in the back ring? Not He's on. going for a guard. There we go. Good man. Yeah. He just wanted the hammer in the even ends, which is a long, it's a long game he was playing. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, it, you know, it's nice to be scoring in the in the even ends, and I think possibly more important in the in the eight end game short, to short you know to, to get control of that situation. So here we go. A nice guard will be a bit of quality here. 
Sweepers are thinking it's good. Uh, well, it's certainly all there for weight. They're not needing to help it out at all. Just beginning to drift off the line now. Nice, nice swings on the sheet this morning for the McDonald Ulzru game. In that in turn line there was coming back towards us as we were at the bar end. So this was uh, there was definitely some big draw coming off that in turn. This may be a foot further up than he would have liked, but difficult it's, to get. Uh, difficult it's in a nice position um, line wise. So. Bowman now throwing the centre. Yeah, no sweeper involvement yet. No, they're hovering off though, so they think it must be close. Oh, bleib vielleicht. Taking quite a nice draw to the centre line Sitzchen. there. We saw a few last oh, oh. night that were overdrawing on the centre yeah. guards, but that's uh, that's perfect. So we're going to use this corner. Ignoring the centre guard and ignoring the one at the back of the eight foot. They're just going to try and lie in behind the red. I don't think they'll. There's a small gap to get shot, but I think they're more likely just to want to get buried rather than actually lying shot at the moment. Yeah, I think, as you see there, uh, this doesn't need to be the one that's, you know, it's a long way till we're counting the stones at the end of the end. So this is a positional shot, isn't it, to give them, give them a chance of maybe scoring two by the, by the time we come to the... The end of the end is taking a wee bit longer to curl. I'm going to work it a little bit harder now. Just didn't draw quite as much as they would have liked. I no, think. I don't think so. Just um, I don't think Bowman will chase yeah. that yet. He's got a centre guard. He's playing. Yeah. The defence from him as well now. I suppose he can get this in. Take off the corner guard. Yeah, maybe get a roll, roll back towards roll the centre. Back towards the centre. Yeah, definitely. I don't think he'll get in to the house off the off this one. Whoa. It looks like quite a nice weight. It's not, uh, it's not particularly heavy, but it's uh, yep. Yep. controllable with the sweepers, you would think. So. Again, just running straighter at those up weights. Yeah. Just certainly not the side he was uh, looking to hit it on, so <laughs> whether it ran a little straighter or, or perhaps Ryan was a little bit wider there with it. Yeah, possibly. I think it I say, just fraction, fractionally up and slight misjudgment off the ice too. Get that correct. So. so we're six out. Yep, shut up. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm at eight up. Trying to get round and tap whoa, 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 whoa. the one at the back rings now. He's, he's chasing this one at the back rings. However, that must have been an either or shot, I think, because yeah. uh, they weren't they weren't sweeping hard for the back stone. Yeah, you would have thought they would have. Um, if they were trying to come, maybe they were trying to yeah. hit that one and roll over yeah. to give themselves a corner guard again. Maybe try to catch half stone actually rather than come to the back one. But hard to know exactly what they were doing. I think I thought they were going to. I thought the icy was giving. It was trying to draw over to the far side to lie two on different right. sides of the, of the rings. But although that would have left a potentially dangerous centre guard. But uh, yeah. maybe it, maybe it was just appeal. Maybe we just missed the call on that one. It seems. Well, we're back. Well, it's given. It's given oh, Bowman a chance oh, to, to lie the two oh, now. So, to back yourself to make a double now. To avoid, to avoid the steal or to only be looking at the force. Yeah. That was a, yeah, a strange call there, or a strange result maybe. Was perhaps the result they were looking for. So He'll no doubt be trying to roll towards the centre, I would have I thought. think so. That's a good line, isn't it? Yeah, angle, this, isn't uh, this, this is one of the cameramen goes right down low and gets in behind the line there. There's just a little gap in the barrier there in the yeah. sheets. So. Coverage has been, uh, you know, the camera works great, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's been it's fantastic uh, this year. That's uh, it's the, it's the World Curling Tour that's covering this event for us and providing the pictures. So um, the, the resolution on the camera work has been fantastic. The colours are really vivid. It's, it's a pleasure to watch. I guess they're uh, they're producing these uh, competitions and matches now week in week out. The World Curling yeah, TV, World so yeah. they're doing a good go good job of it. And we're, we're lucky to have them here. Yep. 
So what yellow still lie to and, and have the advantage certainly to to look like forcing a, yeah, a I one think, at um, this stage. I think reds have to have to get this stone rolling in towards the middle now, don't they, to mm -hmm. give themselves a chance of a double later on to to blank out the end. The further apart these yellows go, the harder it is for them. This is quite a steep angle, so they don't think the double's there, so all he could do is maybe roll three quarters of the way down towards the one at the back of the rings there. Yeah, you'd be taking a, a, a risk, wouldn't you, to be hitting it on the high side to, to play the, the yellow over to hit the other one. So yeah, or, or even the other way, you're, you're yeah. risking taking a, what, a third or a quarter yeah. of the stone, and they, they, we do know the stones do swing. Yeah, and once they go, they're very di even yeah. at weight, it's very difficult to hold them. So. Yeah, we must be thinking this one's... Uh, this one's got Moving a chance. A little bit. Quite a nice week. Perfectly, perfectly judged there. They couldn't yeah, have done much better with that. That's a super a great shot. shot. Yeah. Ideal. So now we'll be lucky. Uh, Bowman will try and splat everything yeah, out here, or is he trying to get, take, trying to get the nose? Everything. Certainly a appeal weight. I think so, I don't know. You may, you may get the nose by default, but uh, I think yeah. this is looking just a. Uh, just now, yeah. how quickly it changes. So that was yeah, a good exactly. shot. Uh, good shot that the Swedes put in there. Completely changed that end. From yeah, they were looking like being forced two sh two stones ago, and now there is a. No, they can put an separation on these two. They yeah. could they could be scoring too. Yeah, definitely. Good shot there. Right, he wants a nose, but I would have thought he would want a little bit of a, a little bit of a roll maybe, but again they could be happy almost to have the two in the house force um Mabegs into trying the double and, and you know if they make it that's fine, they get to blank again yes. and keep control and you know, not gonna panic at this stage, but this one's needing to be worked fairly hard by the switch. Just under the nose, I think, is it? Well, it's not not maybe what he was looking for, but keeps the two stones in the house. But I think this is a fairly straightforward, fa straightforward double. Looks like any contact on the on the right hand side of the stone as we look at it. Also push the second counter out or lie against it. Or mm -hmm. just doesn't need to move them far. Be, With them being in the back ring, there's not to. Just don't be tight. Just a wee nudge. They're quite comfortable with that. You like a, a yes, no. They've just about held on there to the back line, so that was a good result. Another blank, we think. Should be. Hanging around. Ah, thank you. <laughs> they seem to be good chums. Yeah, good spirits playing the game quite nicely. That's it's much nicer when you can have a little bit of chat with your opposition and in, in, a, in a neutral language. Yeah, yeah, and be relaxed enough to say good shot. It's uh, I think it's one of the pluses of the game, isn't it? That we're still quite keen to to carry on the good sports. Definitely, definitely. Oh, oh. Mm. Ah, anything. Not needing any sweeping. Oh, They're going to catch enough. Yeah. Quite comfortable. Oh. We were a stone ahead of ourselves. Sim so yeah, sim similar to the first end, trying to put this in a, as awkward a position as he can in case he thinks Marburg has got a weak, a weaker hand or a weaker track that doesn't like throwing on chosen to try and put it into the, onto the button, I think, to make it as hard as possible for Marburgs to roll out. Yeah. And it gives um, gives Bowman the chance to throw the draw, which yeah, will be he's probably not had yet, has he? first one since his, um, since his draw shot to, to get last stone or not get last stone, as, as was the case. So that's quite nice for him that the, the other stone rolled out there. This is certainly looking as if it's all there. Mm -hmm. Just, just crept on a bit far. Oh so. 
he'll be glad he wasn't needing that to land in the forefoot against two counters. <laughs> so it gives him a... Ah, those are the ones you make, though, isn't it? Yeah. When you've got the whole house to hit. Thinking the guy's going to get a blank. Yep. Amazing how often you put it a little bit too deep. Yep. Yeah. Now they're working this one a little. But Good rotation. Safely done. Off it goes. Yeah. So another rattling through this. Yeah, another blank on this sheet, but um, have we got anything exciting happening in the other games that we can... Oh, well, Schwaller has taken a three against uh, Pat Simmons' Canadian team in the first ten days. So that's a big jump. Uh, to get against a very experienced team. Not many teams would be unhappy to score a three in the first day. No, that's, that's a, certainly a solid start. Uh, Simmons lost to Returners this morning, which I guess some people may have thought was a shock, but Returners have been playing well mm -hmm. um, all season. You know, obviously qualified Italy for uh, the South Korean Olympics. So confidence is high. It's a great win against Simmons this morning. Yeah. And obviously uh, Schwaller's turning the screw in this game. Yeah, I don't know when uh, the Canadians arrived. I, I would guess they've been here a few days, but maybe a little bit of jet lag still. Possibly. I think still in the legs. I, I, I spoke to Pat in the, in the hall earlier on. He said he came in on the second. Okay. So not a huge amount of time no. to get over the jet lag. Still managed a round of golf with jet lag, you told me. <laughs> Absolutely. Before the rains came. Yeah. Well, I mean, you'd be daft not to. Correct. Coming, so coming all to this way in uh, St Andrews is... 40 miles from here, so a good game of golf from the old course with his golfing buddies. Good stuff. Back to the curling, which is uh, what we're here for, and German lead trying to throw up a centre guard. Looks close. Yeah, here we go. We've got a game on now. Yeah. Centre yeah. guards in play. We'll ignore those first two ends. Excellent. And uh, get a six end game going here. The second end there was slightly more interesting with uh, that's interesting shot play um, but yeah now we've got, got some coming scoring. round got some the scoring. coming round the, the centre they always say that nil nil draws in football are quite exciting but, uh, not sure about nil nil and curling for eight no. ends we could okay okay have you ever we were once um, we were playing Doherty in uh, Switzerland and, and lost one nil did you oh, no, I've, yeah. uh, what we had last time so were you blanking <laughs> yeah. all the way through <laughs> and were. then fresh to last? <laughs> well, it wasn't a fresh... Well, yeah, no, I think it was a, a draw that was slightly... Doherty's was slightly better than ours. At the end of the day, we just rubbed off ours. We'd, uh, we did fresh a guard. I won't, I won't name names and no, no. name and shame, hey, but it wasn't me. <laughs> Which is good enough for me. Anyway, sorry, I digress. Back to this game. So, yeah, 1-0 wouldn't be ideal. They're having to work this a little bit, yeah. but it's got plenty of weight. So. Swedes just, uh, they, they like to come round the centre guard this time. Yeah. We're a fraction deep, so we've got uh, we've got the end well set up now. It looks almost like a start of a mixed doubles game, this. We've got the guard, we've got one behind the button and one drawn on it. But, uh. And there's, you know, with, um, with the yellow uh, bumping the red back a little bit there, on this nice swingy ice, there's actually enough room you would say for him to come round um, and to, to move that yellow without it oh coming yeah. in contact with the red I yeah, think. You can just uh, push this back on the diagonal and uh, get it past the back one I think. They've certainly um, from one extreme to the other haven't they with uh, coming around the yeah, centre they've gone and coming around pressed again pressed it's the aggressive yeah, button, yeah. Yeah. However yeah. I think we're maybe seeing yeah. He's got around that guard as well, swept. There you go. As you said, just go. just Perfect. pushed it across the yeah. face. That's a nice stone. Yeah, it's a great shot. Good sweeping. The, the single sweeper there um, held it up well. Yeah, held it back off the line there, yeah. But there is potentially a double there and, and to then stick behind the guard. See how Mr. Shepherd does with this. Yeah, he's, he's channeled. He's coming out with a bit of pace here, so he has he's playing the double there. The right ice there could have been the freeze freeze ice as well without knowing the calls. Um, however, he's gone. Looks like he's gone for the, the low hit and roll, which is a pretty That's good a try. Nice yeah, it's yeah. a good shot again. That's great. We've seen uh, 
really good stones. Yeah, it's, uh, fantastic. First one from uh, Sweden, a little bit deep, but apart from that, we've seen uh, nice weights and obviously good throws. Lucky to have seven of the Olympic teams playing this weekend. Just got a glimpse of uh, Morizumi there, who had a great game against Nicholas Eaton this morning. Lost in the extra end. So that was, that was the first of the Olympic matchups. Mm -hmm. Just looking across to see if there's anyone else. I can't see anyone else just at the moment. Those psychological points, scoring points. Well, yeah, it's nice. I mean, I, I don't think it is going to make an awful lot of difference. The teams will be fully prepared and you know, starting with alleged clean sheets and Absolutely. backing themselves once they get to the Olympics. But it's always nice to know so that you. the back of your mind. Yeah, exactly. So that was a nice shot, well played. Possibly rolled a little further than they wanted. I think they were maybe looking to, to keep a counter to in there. The corner yeah. a little bit. But Chance for Germany to put one right in line here. Yeah, I think they want to be reasonably close again, quite tight to the. Yeah, those ones are behind the tee, I guess. So. Uh, closer the better. He's got his brush down at the top of the eight foot. You can't see that on the screen. I can see that he's got his brush at the top of the eight foot. So that's how deep he wants us to go. There's not much separation between the yellow and the red at the back. So. They're having to work this one pretty hard though. And I think they're, they're going to end up a little shorter than they yes. they've oh. anticipated. Yeah. Uh, rudimentary German says that's good shot Ryan. So he's quite happy with it there. Yeah, I think. <laughs> It certainly, you know, it's it's there. It's an eye catcher, but it certainly won't stop uh, the Swedes coming down to to attack this yellow there. It's a, enough of a swing. That's that's probably certainly four, five, six feet too short. I think. Yeah, so I can swing one round here, back line weight, maybe trying to get onto the face of the yellow, separate the yellow and the red behind it. So then two, two or four shots time is maybe something building for him there. Just kind of hack, maybe barrier as much as that. Kind of more hackish, probably. But it's certainly drawing on them. It's drawing quicker than they than they had anticipated. It's right to the nose, I think, now, is it? Yep, so they lose their, lose their back counter. Back to uh, advantage Germany. Yeah, well, I think it's because they're advancing up the house. All of a sudden, that he's got a shot here to lie. Just about touching the button. Yeah, and behind. behind and and guard. behind the guard. So the Swedish team have to start coming down their weights a bit to try and get the bigger finish. And therefore, the German team's straight yep. are not going to pop, get popped through. Mm -hmm. This is uh, certainly a positive handle, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, he does put a lot of hand on. Yeah. Although it's still, yep. you know, it's drawing, yep. moving quite a bit towards the end there. So yep. that's not too bad. Kind of slightly the wrong side, but uh, it doesn't disturb the other one behind the guard, so I think they'll be reasonably happy with that. It does give uh, the hit and roll or yep. tap it. Trying to get in front of it again, yeah. yeah. You'd like to, uh, it's not a lot of ice, so it must be throwing a reasonable weight, but I would, I think a, a down weight, I would have liked to have seen maybe a hack or. Just, maybe just not trusting the ice to, yeah. to hold up yet. I haven't seen side to side yet and all the different weights so pot potentially under throw it or soft handle it well, or that's something. It. you check the guard and you're in you're in bother then yeah. so it's probably the, the safest it's conservative call. conservatively and if he's throwing enough weight and he's high he, he, you know he'll he'll chip that well, bad yellow and move things about try and do that actually just try and move both of them away deeper they're having to work it nonetheless. Actually wasn't as heavy as we thought. No, so I don't think so. Yeah. so they've but it's curled too much, so. Yeah. He either. A slight mistake there, yeah. I think. Gives Germany a chance to put a good first counter, I would suggest, to try and get in here if you can. <laughs> the, um, wonder if there was a miscommunication there, the perhaps, call. about the weight and line. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're working this one. Uh, blown their chance there. That was a, a chance to get a good counter in there. Put the pressure on Yeah, there. they'll be disappointed with that. Newman, but, uh, that wasn't a great shot there because he's just thrown the, he thrown the other guard and it was shorter than he needed, so they wanted to they wanted to make sure of that. He's covered the yellow on the one hand, so um, he's forcing Newman to come in T weight only now yeah, on the intern. Yeah. But he's got uh, he's got a lot of scope to just either freeze right back to that yellow or even to sit high on the, the top of the forefoot. Well, shot. I think that's what I'd like to do is leave it short of the yeah. tee and uh, have no exit path for this red with uh, Bowman's first stone. We saw that last night. Yeah. That, um, yeah. It's, you know, some games, it's great play that make the difference in turn and end, and, but often it's a mistake, isn't it? You know, and then you, you just leave the door open and, and you've, you've got to be able to take it, but this is possibly a little heavier than they'd, they'd hoped. So it's right back to the right yellow. Back, so leaves, a, leaves a small gap for uh, Alexander Bauman to draw in. And again, as you say, it swings back and forward, and sometimes it's the, it's the shot after a op opposition mistake that's the, the best, the one that you have to make the yeah, best. Absolutely, if and you uh, get the chance, you've got to, be, yeah, you've got to he's grab just, it. It's just not taking that chance there. Likewise here, Bauman's going to make the most of this small gap he's been given. He'll be glad he got that throw of a, gar uh, a draw the last end when he wasn't expecting it, so we'll see if he can do better than he did, the, did then. I think the line's good. <laughs> Google Translate. Yeah. Working hard, though. This one's going, I think, isn't it? Has he got the weight? Short of weight, I think, maybe. I think so. They're dragging it well, but I don't think they're going to get it far enough. So that's three poor stones. Well, not three. poor. Two quite poor and one... Uh, yeah, it really gives a, yeah. gives Marburg a big chance now. If he can, if now, if he can play the really good <laughs> shot now. I might, I might be saying this for the rest of the end, but uh, if We're he can play the good shot that, now, that's right. He's going to look. At, he's going to be looking at two, possibly even a shot for a three later on. But I guess even if he's short here, he um, there's a pressure on, isn't it? Uh, yeah, he can. He can. He can afford to leave this one actually slightly shorter because yep. it's something he might be able to use. He might have to. Yeah, stone. Alexander's going to have to come down the, the other hand potentially, and we just don't know how that's going to run. Then you know he he just doesn't want to be too deep with this. Looks uh, still moving. They must. Uh, Surprised they were sweeping that. D different line this one. I think where the Bowman stone was by this point. Yeah, a little bit further out, but look at it come now. It's. Uh, it's moving. This looks pretty good. I think just get that finish on it now. Yeah. Good shot. That's uh, I would have thought almost exactly where he wanted that one. I don't know if there are angles to, to pop one of these guards and then there's nothing they're really. All, they're all yeah. cross-checking, aren't they? One goes one way, one goes the other. I don't think there's anything there. The best he can now do, I think, is freeze on that one potentially cut him down. I suppose there must be room to push it back. Yeah. It looks like it would come down to... It's not going to move. I mean, he could... Um, you know, you would think if he can. moves it a couple of inches, then he may be short, but he probably doesn't want to... I think I think he's open. looking at yeah. cold, yeah. cold freeze, even a block on that yeah. in-turn hand, and uh, make Marburg throw a cold draw for his two into the one foot, I think. If he can get away with the force here, I think he'd be absolutely delighted, wouldn't he? So we'll, uh, we'll see, he's off. He certainly doesn't waste any no, time. No, he's, he's, uh, he's clicking the hack and that's good. I, you know, it's good for the team, it's good for your, you know, your other players aren't getting kind of time to, to daydream. So. It's starting to move now along a certain way. He's getting a bit more draw. Just was no bounce, no bounce. That's a pretty good shot. He's not lying the shot. Red still. 
have a little corner of the hole, I think. But uh, I think he's made that pretty difficult to get many more. He certainly... Um, Unle unless, unless he can just see a bit of it. I don't think that he'll be able to see the inside of it, which is what he's going to need. Mm. Uh, you can see actually a bit more than we first saw yeah. there. I think if he can come down and grab as much of that yellow that's just been played as he can, mm -hmm. then it might bounce spring it, apart. Bounce and then it off the red. Because he's certainly going to keep... Yeah, this could actually... It's tight, though, isn't it? You're you calling, this, you're calling this for a four? Well, you I almost did that, didn't I you? almost did, but it's too, I think it's too tight for that. I think he'd be more than delighted if he gets a two out of this. He's got to, risk, got to watch he doesn't lose a shot here. Yeah, yeah, that's the... I guess that's the risk, but it's a, it's a, I think it's a worthwhile gamble. Yeah, so. he, has to, he has to come at this with a little bit of weight, hoping that... He can bounce that yellow that over the top, and um, and well, this one will catch on the back yellow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the one at the back before the catch on the back. He certainly, uh, he's certainly coming at it with a bit of weight. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's close. Ooh, it's close to that guard. That was one, really as well. You see, one, I should have stuck two, with my gun. Two, three. There's a yellow one out here. We can't see on the screen yet. Oh, two. And only just thought two, we actually. Thought we were going to count them yeah. up. But yeah. One, one two. Yeah. Yeah, we can small wager for the four there. <laughs> yeah, I'd forgotten about the yellow. I'm going by what I see on the screen. Well, that was a nice shot, actually. It didn't pass yeah. that far, the long guard by much. <laughs> you know. Nor, nor the one in the house, actually. No. Yeah. The weight he was throwing, he couldn't, he couldn't be any closer, I don't no, think. That was a good yeah. result. That was a nice end. That was a good yeah, end. Was to curling. Yeah, we're to happy with that. And I'm sure they're quite happy too. So, have we got anything else exciting happening across the sheets? Simmons took a two back, so uh, that uh, kind of makes that a little bit more close again. 3 2 now. Yeah, it's difficult because we're, we're, our game is going so much more quickly than ours. Mm -hmm. We're actually half an end ahead of most of the rest of the games. Despite yeah. starting maybe later because of this being a televised game. Yeah, neither neither skipper hanging about though, and yeah, the game is rolling along at a pace, so it's good. But that hopefully we'll get another end, like the last end. Get a guard here and we'll see how it develops. Lovely steady slide. Sweeping it hard, must not be quite exactly where they're wanting it. I think we're going into the house. I think so, it's co yeah. just coming into the fourth. I think at two down, we're going to have to see a, a corner guard. German, German team should put up corner guard either side uh, and, and hope that something develops off. Yeah. Where the next red Swedish stone comes in. It's quite a Five difference high. in the deliveries of the two leads. Yes. Um, but maybe. It's high off the ground on that one. Without being um, rude, there's maybe a little bit of a difference in the age <laughs> of the two leads as well. Oh no. No, no, no. If he gets a bite, then uh, if he gets a bite of the wings, which he has done more than a bite, then not ideal. Go up. It's frustrating as a skip, doesn't it? You have a strategy all lined out in your head. First stone. Didn't that use anything? Back to the drawing board. See if he hits as well as he does. Good slide, isn't it? it is, it's a steady slide. That's what all the gym works for, isn't it? To give you strong enough legs and core to... So they tell me. ...to be able to maintain that. Now, Alan, I know you're a fine figure of a, a gym bunny. You must just be looking like a... looking in a mirror. Seeing my face <laughs> lady out there. Yes, OK. That's mo moving on. <laughs> I think we're going back to the corner. Yeah, harder now though, because uh, it can be hit if he puts the 
puts the corner guard up, the uh, Marburg's team can hit it. Three guard zone's gone Mine's after the gone. stone. I guess he's hoping for a nose or even just a hit and roll to somewhere else on the sheet. Just He needs a guard desperately now. Something to get get the, the end moving in the direction he'd like, but quite long. We've seen that the, the Swedish team are keen to hit anyway, so I don't think... Yes, I don't think they're going to be a get, they're not going to gamble necessarily. Playing anything too yep. aggressive for their steal, they'll be looking just to uh, put the pressure on Bauman's last stone. Even at this early stage in the end, they'll be thinking that we've got to make Alexander play his last stone. Mm -hmm. For a one, best case, for a German one in the best case. Yeah. Any bother for him. Slight change here. He's called to, to draw in front of the uh, the two reds there. Twelve o'clock as he looks at it, just to see if he can make, draw an error out of the Swedish team. Maybe get one of the Yellowstone, the Yellowstone to jab on one of the reds or yeah, I take out one of his reds by mistakes. The the corner appeal would be just Run. too straightforward. Too he has to think, try and uh, shift it about a little bit, try and move things about. Which often just seeing a stone on a different line than you're expecting. You know, you're not. Expecting to peel yep. on that line, it yep. can be a little off putting and, yeah, and maybe he can he can freeze on the front one or even the second one or somewhere in the pocket go, between go, them. Go, go. Just adds a go. bit of go. technical go. difficulty onto go. the shot. Yeah, that's a nice stone. Go. It certainly means he, he it can only go the one way, can't he? Can't. Uh, I can't afford to choose a different hand, he's got to, got to hit it on this high side. Oh. Oh, sweeping this one all the way down, is he really wider? He's taking out his own one. He's really he's wide. He's drawn yeah. the mistake, I think he's actually got away with his mistake there. It's not as bad as it could have been, but uh, yeah, there we go. So, Exactly what we said. Passed him for a slightly more difficult oh, shot. Yeah. Overthrew it. Didn't right, so you're so huh? determined then not to be tight that um, yeah, just just made a little bit too sure uh, there and was, was potentially a little on the wide side. I like this. Yeah, that's what you want. So what have we got going on here? We're going to... Yep. Boom. He still yep. lies two against. Yeah, um, I think he might so want to I think he's going to try and tap up the yellow or yeah. another freeze on the other... Enough. This looks quite short. Maybe this, it was this, even a guard. This, this angle here certainly looks quite yep. short as he called the guard. On. Yes. That's it. Working yep. it well. I think he's pretty good for the freeze now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's drawing right. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. I wonder if that was the initial call the, or if that alternative was call. Kind of how it ended up. Yeah, that was. That would not. Kind of wouldn't be what I'd expect to come right round the not outside. Not when you're lying there, two against yeah. in the rings. I think that's. Again, maybe just thinking. I'll mix this up a little bit. Try and try and confuse the yeah. the opposition sometimes. Cause that's the one thing about the the free okay, guard zone rule. The ends can be a little samey, can't they? You know that they can. Be a little formulaic or yeah, or especially the, the top level teams. There's, there's almost a four stone protocol of where yeah. you put them. Yeah. So. So. This time next year, of course, we'll have different rules to talk about because we've got the five rock rules coming in, and how that will change the game. I mean, a lot more stones in play, I believe. Certainly confuse old timers like me. I think. Yeah. yeah we'll see how that. But you, you're right. There'll be a lot more stones in play, and potentially more. Uh, requirement to play these touch shots yep. and to be playing all your weights to have your hack weight and your back ring and right, bumps here and there. It's only going to change the role of the number two player I think. Mm -hmm. so this is looking yep, a little yep, heavier. Yep. He wants to move something. Yep, yep. I'm going to try and make a play in his red. I think they've just lost that. Is it just going to flick the yellow? Well, well, it's actually not worked out too badly he's for him. Getting, he's getting away with his mistakes, isn't he? That's yeah. uh, he was a long way inside what he called there. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but st these reds are not easy to get them both out now. But they, I suppose the bad news is he left this yellow one over here on the right-hand yeah. side. Yeah, that that could be. Which uh, could be the nice that could be the two-point yeah. counter yeah. later on in the end. Yeah. And uh, Alexander wants a wee hit and roll away from this one, and then that opens up the top red, doesn't yeah. it? If he, if he can hit and roll to the left as we look now over to the one on the corner, mm -hmm. they might not come back into play for the rest of the end because all the rest of the stones are around the forefoot. Yeah. Nice to get hit as part of a double take out. But that, that's what he's thinking. That's I'm thinking he was a little inside yeah. because uh, the shout went up almost before. As he, threw, as he yeah. let it go. He, he doesn't want to touch that front yeah. red one. Which is exactly what he's done. Yeah, that's, that's uh, a shocker. Yeah, that's not good. He's not going to be pleased with that. And we can tell by his face that he's not He's exasperated <laughs> himself. Anyway, on such things, the end has changed, and uh, Neumann now has a chance to lie to himself. He's going to try and get some movement apart, because if he leaves it in behind the red, then the German team still have a chance for a double for their two eventually. Yeah. Notice that here makes a steep angle. Yeah, yeah. He would still fancy that, though. I think he maybe wants to to move a little, do you think? or He's got room to roll out to the left-hand side, which is obviously a small, the small side, the tight side. Yeah. Um, but that would just make the angle even more steep for the German team. Bring his counter back over, so... I think, I think he'll be happy enough with the right Right on the nose of it. It's quite a nice controlled weight. Yeah, that's a nice throw. Yeah, absolutely on the nose. So choices: he can either go for the double and move, put his yellow over to the right hand side. He can nose this one, or just bounce over to him. His final option would have been to hit the one by his left foot and then come in behind that one and make the sweet play the fancier shot. I like to play the straight hit on the front. Red. Yeah, I think he wanted a little roll, maybe, but I, they're, uh, they're not needing to sweep this at all, so I don't want to roll. Well, that's too what he far. called. You see, that's what he called was to go that way again. That's yeah. on the that's on the thin side. It's really hard to get that. Yeah. Way. Yeah. It, 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 it's quite easy to catch too little and roll too far, which technically he has really, hasn't he? Yeah. So we should see some uh, some separation on the reds here. T line draw. I like the the draw. I'm surprised he's not actually think it would be a hit that one? going for the hit, even on the. No, he's worked. He's worked himself into this position quite well. He's had a couple yeah. of lucky breaks this end, but mm -hmm. uh, he's got a chance now to sort of turn the screw. And if he can get this one across three o'clock position on the eight foot circle. Yeah, taking inside the the centre lines actually. It's a little bit of a risk there because if it comes off the off the centre line yeah, quickly, so. he could. Quite quickly run out of yeah, house. Yeah, surprised he didn't just take another maybe mm -hmm. six inches yeah. more ice just to make sure because he wants I think to make the player sure maybe took six inches <laughs> more ice. <laughs> he wants to make sure this one lies the shot so that Bowman has to play on this one rather than the one that's freezable on the left hand side of the rings. Yeah, this is still moving, so uh, the sweepers are right back off. I think Bowman will get a, a wee sweep at this one if he can get it back into yeah, so certainly puts, puts third position now. That's um, that was a mistake again. I think, wasn't it? He's going to try the. I'm not sure he needs to play the tap up, does he? Well, it, it gives him the chance of bringing that side yellow into play, doesn't it, at some point? The, you the know, far the biter. this one, yeah. yeah. yeah sure, if he yeah. can stick this, if he can nose this one, which is really all he's needing, isn't it? A nose hit, which you would say if it was a single stone. Yes. You know, you'd say, oh, a nose hit all day long. But if he can stick both these yellows, the played stone and the one that he's now yeah, trying to raise so up. This one's lying second. This yellow's yeah. lying second counter. So if he was to chip out the red and roll to the middle, he'd lie two. I just think this way he can only lie first, third and fourth, best case scenario. Yeah, but I don't think he's got an awful lot of room, does he? If he came back at sort of yep. back yep. ring hat weight. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And they're working this hard yes. and they certainly don't want to yes. be losing either yeah, of these stones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They need two of them. Oh to stay to give them the chance of yeah well he doesn't like the shot no but it does give them the chance of a a bigger score i think you think i think so you know we've seen uh, we've seen the swedish teams make a few mistakes on their draw weights. he just needs this to be a little heavy or you know this is last stone this is swedish last stone 
So again, he can just put maximum separation between these yeah. two, and, and Bowman's forced to take a one. That was. I think trying to chip the the small angle, the small amount of red that he would have seen there, though, was still as difficult. I don't know if it was so any maybe just got the stone on the wrong side there, did he? Yeah, slightly, I think. Yeah. Vincent, come on. Vincent, Vincent. Come on. The sweepers don't want to be sweeping this. You see this. I guess he's got practically yep. he's yeah, got yeah. six feet to play. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Just being a bit cautious on it. He's maybe just overthrown this. All my wise advice is for nothing because he's thrown it through the rings. Yeah, you see, I think, well, it's easy to say, but you know, he, he hasn't drawn particularly well. No, and so I think that even a small amount of pressure, because he could, you know, you see all those yellows sitting about and you think, I've got to make this. And, and now he hasn't. And now he hasn't. He's and we've got, got potential four in the cards. Yeah. Yeah, I liked Alexander's first call. <laughs> <laughs> the first stone. But yeah, you've got to think that your opposition actually was actually going to put it where they want it. So it's been a, a, an end of mistakes, I think, that have uh, been telling in this end rather than cracking shots. So he can capitalise on it. Yeah, he has to. Get the nose hit for the four. I mean, any contact he's getting is three. Think, so. A four well, here he is to make sure a great four. Is just, yeah. it's a, it's a, a hammer blow, actually, from yeah. where, they were, where they were two minutes ago. Yeah. Oh, no. my lord. They lost that with the sweepers. Didn't, they didn't jump on that. That was uh, from that about two-thirds of the way down they started sweeping. Yeah. Um, and not with a lot that's of intensity. Uh, yeah, that's an opportunity lost for them to go two up. Um, from being two down would a, was a big turnaround. Still a nice score. They'll take three at the beginning of the end, I'm sure. But when you've got the chance for a fairly straightforward yeah, some open clear water hit, between you as well. You've got to take it. So. Yeah, there's still uh, still a bit of curling to be done here. Yep, halfway through, so two-point game, 4-2 four, four Bowman over Marburgs. 3-2. 3-2, sorry, didn't, four, he didn't name that goal, 3-2, sorry. Yeah, plenty curling left. Yeah. And uh, as more stones have come into play, then actually the, the error count has gone up. Um, yeah, they're more technical. Uh, yeah. They're asking them to play slightly more difficult shots and, and they're not making them, yeah. are they? Not to the same... Uh, proficiency as they were they were making their peels and just uh, nose hits when it was yeah. a fairly straightforward first couple of ends so. I hope we're going to get another guard here I think he has to you know, try and, and force the issue I think the team that really takes the puts a foot on the gas yeah, I think so. He's got forces the issue but this is coming into the house I think four, four ends of four ends of <laughs> Of accurate curling, I think would, would would be enough to win it for either team. And yeah. Either. How often do we see that? That's really. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ho, ho, ho. That's not great from at this That's stage throwing <laughs> into the <laughs> stack. Thir third game of the weekend. Yeah. He's been asked. Worst case, he's been asked for T line and thrown it today. And we're this looks a bit like the first end again, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Going back in time. Absolutely. Yeah, as you say, at this stage of the competition, they've all played three games. We've had, uh, there have been four draws on the ice then, is this the fourth? Yeah, there was a yeah. game, so the first thing this morning, just as uh, the rest of us were getting out of bed, these guys were playing. So they should be they should be quite comfortable with the weight of the ice. They should be quite comfortable with the, the amount of swing they're getting. But I think uh, yeah, I think he's not yep. as steady in his delivery as the, the <laughs> other lead, yep. which um, as Pat. So uh, he certainly uh, maybe that's making things a little tougher for him. But there we go. Solid still, hit. Still played it. Still goes yep. in the book as a four. And the stats count. Doesn't matter. How? That's just it. the how many. Mm -hmm. 
you see a lot of curlers in Perth with a reasonably high delivery, and uh, a lot of them are very good curlers. Aren't they, Pete Light? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, we digress again. Yep. It's easy to digress when yep. it's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. a straightforward end like this, isn't it? But uh, they're working this one reasonably hard, but I, I guess it's going to be a hit stick. We're not getting anywhere near the T line yet. No, we'll, uh, we'll watch a couple more strikes come down. Hopefully, they're all made. Yeah, we've got, um, as we've said, we'd keep an eye on what was happening on the other sheets. And um, Brewster and Fister are having a, a fairly open game nope. along on uh, sheet A that's nope. no score yet in the fourth end, oh, Alan. Yes. That's, uh, that's possibly. Nope as many hits going down as this one, but um, Drummond and Bryce are having a close game, they're two all. Simmons has stolen a two, so actually leads Schwaller now, having been 3-0 down, he's 4-3 up. And um, Rana versus Murazumi, the um, team that you were saying earlier had a great game against Eden and lost out at the last end. They're having a tight game and Rana, the uh, senior team, which I'm sure they don't mind me saying that because they are all seniors. They are uh, they're leading one 0 at the moment and uh, having a really close game. So it's unusual for a Tom Brewster team to have three blank ends. I know he's not got the hammer. But Tom continues to call games with lots of stones in play. Yeah, they're. Um, it's, a, it's obviously his style. He's played that way for a long yeah, time definitely. now, and uh, I think he. Yeah, he's comfortable playing that game and, and plays it well, so they must be either the opposition are playing very accurate hits here and, and managing to, to squeak out the, the blanks or they're playing a more open game, but we can't see because it's a way along at the other end from us. So we'd a roll out Yeah, we'd a mistake there, we'd a wee yeah. little roll out, so a chance for German. Germany to team to try and put a guard back in play. All right. They're continuing to suit this in there. I mean, they're quite happy. Maybe. Yeah. They're on the the even ends now, I suppose. If they. Yeah. Although you'd have thought they might want to force in this fifth end. If they could have forced the one here and and then gone into the six peels yeah, with last six, one. Six, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. Take it from there. So, but so they are the more experienced team. You know, more international experience. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. Olympics, Europeans. Yep. Yeah. The. Oh. Yep, yep. Ripishage thing yeah. was in the Czech Republic just at the beginning of December. They, they oh. Come through. I'm not sure they get much of a challenge from the rest of Germany to be the German team that goes to international events. So they're getting a lot of big time experience purely by being the, the only German team that's available yeah. to play. Um, so yep. Probably favourites to win the game. Yeah, this I suppose at this point it's still quite on, uh, on, 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 on. difficult to call, but. I guess uh, Maberg's team are maybe making more of the mistakes. Yes. Across the board, uh, you know, there, there are half, half shots sneaking in um, where the tail end of uh, Bauman's team, Alexander himself, has played quite well. You know, he's made uh, that hit and roll, but I do think that was a sweeping error. That was uh, that should have been should have been on that all the way down just to make sure. Here we go with a, another hit here from uh, from Frederick. It's a little maybe down weight than yes, he usually plays, and they're, this is moving both, on them. Both supers going on this yeah. one. Oh, oh no, they're, they're up again, so they must think it's yeah, they're quite happy back. The roll to centre, quite nice there. We've got uh, two Scottish teams battling it out here, and. Certainly got the experienced head of uh, Ewan McDonald has played here goes for a number of years, and uh, young James Craig at 16, uh, his junior team won the right to yeah. to come to the Masters, didn't they? And really? they're loving the experience and the opportunity. The to Scottish play these. Junior Tour prize for winning the Scottish Junior yeah. Tour was a berth in the Masters. So it's a terrific prize. I mean, oh, it's absolutely, a, what, what a great experience yeah. for for. A young team, great, good team, mm -hmm. good team, mm -hmm. and uh, a great scalp last night. They took down uh, yep. 
yep. Attinger. Yes, last it, was. Night. it was Attinger, yeah. Uh, and then only lost in the last yes. couple of ends against Ramsfall this morning. So, uh, and what a great experience to play the old timers from Scotland here. That's right. Yeah, now they're, they're all younger they're than me, but they're still <laughs> old timers. Well, they're experienced curlers. That's what we'll say, but uh, we're speaking to James yesterday, uh, James Craig, the skip of the young team, and he was so excited and delighted to be here, which is uh, which is just great, and as it should be. Yeah, absolutely. They don't have any pressure on their shoulders at all. They're just here to to learn and to 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 play and enjoy it, really, which is uh, which is great. But it's nice to see you and back again. Still plays, still plays a bit of curling up in Inverness. I think he's got the leagues and things he plays up in there but obviously not doing as much on the Scottish circuit as he used to but uh, still calls a good game still throws mm -hmm. a good rock yeah I think we were we were talking about it earlier weren't we and there is no um, substitute for for being match fit though you know and and having to play uh -huh. these shots week in week out and I guess that's what the youngsters uh -huh. have maybe that uh, the, the older guys don't have this year so we'll see how it works out but just now it's a close game it's one all having played four rounds so so we'll see how that ends up but back to our um, feature game you've not missed anything as we've been wittering away this series of swap strikes all right okay i can go back to perusing the rest of the ice there, seeing if there's anything more exciting going on but uh, i mean it's not easy to hit so accurately on this you know, on, on swingy, swingy and shice, and we're maybe not giving them the credit they deserve, but it's it's just not awful exciting for for the viewers. Quite a difference in the time clocks there, aren't there? A couple of minutes, three minutes. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised there's. I don't know quite when that's come yeah. about because it's it, the, the clock is based on thinking time. And hasn't been a lot of deliberation about many of the yeah. shots. But, uh, but I guess it's not surprising that Bowman has more time because he has been he has been quick. Yeah, you just trim 10 seconds off every shot just because you're down ready to play and yeah. your sweepers are alert and know what's going on. Then you can maybe just spread the clock that way. It's important, you know, I think when you're um, playing with the time clocks and we're n we don't play an awful lot with the time clocks here. It's only when you get to competitions usually uh, and teams can be can be surprised how quickly that time can just runs away. If away yeah. yeah, if you're not ready to play and your stone cleaned and, and sitting in the hack when the skip gives you your your instruction then it, it very quickly uh, disappears and you are under pressure so it's important for certainly the the lead seconds you know all the players to be to, to be to ready, be ready especially when the shots with the, with the exception of a few stones here and there have been simple clearly obvious shots which yeah. there shouldn't yeah. be wasted time particularly but, uh, Anyway, the end was blanked. Marburg takes the hammer into six, which he was probably quite pleased with. Yeah. yeah. Potentially got the hammer in six and eight, two scoring opportunities against the German, one opportunity. You'd like to see the Germans going for a guard this time, trying to put on a little pressure. <laughs> well, I think they should. I think they, they, they want to try and steal go one up or, or force to get the hammer themselves in which case they would play and try and blank out seven to keep control through eight yeah um, or think further ahead and potentially think there might be a ninth end if that's what has to yeah. go to yeah absolutely so it should should be a more aggressive end unless they're going to take it all down to the wire and try and do everything in seven and eight yeah let's keep our fingers crossed and news flash from sheet a here we go uh, fister has been forced to the one ah. after after three ends of blanking, that will not have been on his uh, that's his not, game plan. That's so that's yep. almost as bad as your game you were talking about earlier <laughs> on. And I believe that we have had a news update on that as well. Yeah, Somebody we have. Somebody has claimed I'm responsibility well, for I'm, uh, losing. I'm still Ramel. not naming and shaming because uh, we all know who. We know she's watching. <laughs> we know she's listening, which is even worse. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's nice to know that you're there, Christine, listening away. <laughs> I shall say no more. So we've got our guard. Excellent work. And now uh, we're going to get a corner guard. Yep. Just um, drop one of these mid-length guards. Which means that it's going to be difficult to get double guard because it's uh, neither one thing nor the other. But uh, the 
Coming off with it, and he's there. I've got a guard. I've got a guard. It has to be perfect. All these aims. It's going to be a case of like a bus. We've waited for one guard and we we'll potentially get two. Potentially looking for a corner guard here as oh well. Oh yeah. So both teams are trying to take their skin as it would be this um, either the steel or the multiple. come behind it uh, with, with the mid-length guard he's gone in with, a f with his first opportunity pretty yep. good maybe just a yep. foot too far if you've been critical but we've got a game underway Swedes are going to try and oh, tap oh. this back on the intern it looks like from their call yeah, in uh, previous years Daniel Herberg has played with um, team biomedic on a rotating basis yeah, yeah but I, I note he's not on the the sheet at all no. not in the game no. so I don't know whether he's not been playing so much this season. I thought he was. He was the definitely playing at the Europeans, Europeans and yeah. at the Olympic Repechage on a rotating basis. But uh, maybe just enjoying a long holiday, Bit Christmas, yeah. festive break. Yeah. 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 Bit of time at home. These guys yeah. have played a lot of curling, I think, over the last two yeah. or three years as they've all tried to get Olympic Four. points and Olympic qualification oh. schedule. For the German team, that's oh. yeah, there's a, a, a wee half error again. Yeah, German team not going to the Olympics, so. Yeah, potentially a chance to unwind for a couple of months before mm -hmm. stepping back up for Worlds. Yeah. I suppose that's the luxury. If you've got a five-man team, then you know you're all sort of fit and able and y you're working well as a unit, so um, why not take a little time off if, if there's maybe work commitments or family commitments that, that mean that's the case. So anyway, we'll say hello to Daniel and hope he's well. Set! Set! Are we throwing Set. another guard here or trying to come a half guard? I think he looks like he's, he's trying to. It's well out there, isn't it? It's well up there as well. It's stepping right back off that. It's further on than I think he would have wanted. It's going to drift in. Yeah. I'm sure he didn't call the freeze. No, I would be surprised because. Yeah, again, we see a, a maybe a half shot here either. that opens the yeah. door for the opposition. Especially with these angles, because he can actually push both these oh yellows well. out. And get the roll. And keep his shooter in behind his own red guard, I think, there, if he gets it absolutely perfectly. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess he'll be glad to, even if he's just moving that the top yellow, if there's slightly more contact with the back one and he doesn't get it out of the house, as long as he, he'll be really worried about or concerned about the... The position of his yeah. shooter. Yeah. That's the. Uh, that's probably the prime. Prime it's concern. Yeah. Quite yep. tight ice. It was only just a yep. brush head over the edge of the stones. So it's gonna have to work this hard. Looks like it's cutting. Quite a lot of weight, and be maybe oh, 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 oh. nose are the wrong side again. Yeah. Oh. We're not. We're just not seeing 100 percent shots, no. are we, Alan? We're not. They're just. They're not, not adapting to the wrong, call, the wrong yeah. shots either. I think he had a chance there to kind of just up the sweeping there and get it. So the both the running stone mm -hmm. and the hit stone would move together across the left yeah. as looked at now. Yeah, just a he's little kept, slow. He's kept going for his original call. Yeah, sometimes you've got to to make the best of what you've got coming at you rather than uh, thinking you're going to make make the shot yeah. you were looking for. That was on the tight ice as well. Yep. One, six. Oh. Yeah. So it's a bit to and fro. I can't really call, yeah. this, is call really this game moving, at the moment, but uh, he's really got a cutter oh. going here. He'll be lucky to keep this. Uh, yeah. yeah. Again, certainly not what they were looking for. Just to see the, the wide <laughs> shot, see whether that's Five in behind the red. Yes, it is. So that yellow's mm -hmm. hard to see, so. quite safe there, but um, just gives Neumann's team just a chance to get in behind the, the yellow guard. I think it's. It's not wide enough to be called a corner guard, but it's definitely usable for the team that's looking to take a two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a uh, that was quite quite an error there I because think so. uh, cut round underneath that. Right? Yeah, Bowman needed to keep play in the centre and he needed to keep themselves, you know, with the yeah. 
with the, the stones in play there. So they'll be ruling that, uh, that chance to lie too, two quite, quite well positioned. So. So perhaps we haven't seen many draws uh, by the second player. Uh, but he's done that beautifully. That's yeah, a super, a super weight, that kept it high. And, you know, even if uh, if Bowman gets a chance to hit on the high side, it's, it's always going yeah. towards that yellow. The guard is quite long, so he's definitely going to be able to get around it. It's just a matter of where they manage to push the red one too, I think. Yeah, that's a super shot. Chance to redeem himself as chaps through a couple of poor stones coming this way the last. Yeah, because he's uh, handle a little, wasn't it? Oh, they're liking the weight, but. Yeah, it's yeah, it's beginning to go. Oh, they have to swing, but hanging back Ryan. off it. So. Ryan. And they wanted to move, so they're. Uh, go, 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 go. Well, it's a nice go, weight, go, go. actually. It's a controllable go, go, go. sweeping weight. Go, go, go. Go, go. Yeah, good shot there. Yeah, just. that's a lovely story. Yeah, I think we'd say he'd uh, he'd done as much of much with that as he could. That was uh, that was lovely. It was a super controllable weight. You know, they yeah, were able that's, to. Yeah, that's that's probably the weight they should be playing quite a lot. I think and this the ice is swinging. Yeah, on this ice. On nice, uh, on nice, uh, with nice handles, they can really begin to play those weights yeah. down. If the guard's in the right place, then there's absolutely no reason why uh, why they can't drop the weight a little and, and play that. So controllable by the sweepers, they can hold it a little bit straighter. They can. They can ask it to bend yeah. a little. It's you know it's it's uh, really a a great weight to be playing. So looking for something similar, yeah. he can get down to the, what we call the low side of that yellow stone, which is the left hand side as it's coming towards us now. But I, I don't uh, think right he's got the right the handle on that. Has he? He's just they're still sweeping, but it has to be on the guard, yeah. Absolutely. Boy, has he's now definitely covered that corner. Staggered guard. So, advantage uh, Bowman at the moment, I think, on this end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be. Going to ask a big question yeah. of uh, Patrick Malberg's with his last stone. Yeah, they worked that hard, but they just. It Rele was kind of from release, release wasn't it? Release, yeah. and, you know, he, he. Having just said, it's nice ice for playing those down weights. Yeah, he spoke. You know, just as he let it go, and I think he maybe thought to himself, "I've started this, or you know, I've not a little bit um, rolled it a wee bit." So uh, he he made the sweepers aware, but there was only so much they could do. But yeah, a good guard here. Good guard. Uh, he's got a, he's got another hand, so um, he's not coming down the path they've been playing on these strikes. Maybe so just because action. of the big draw. Yeah. You know, I think maybe quite difficult to to position your guard exactly where you want it. When, yep. when the drawing Look is at this quite one. That's a good angle there. We can see. Yeah. Sometimes I don't think the curling television coverage, you can see stones curling Whoa. early on, but there you really could Whoa. do that, was a great vision. Yeah. I love that on nice uh, shot, it's really, it's really good, it's, it's quite dramatic, isn't it? Yeah. It gives you the atmosphere, and yeah. Super. Well, he's got the line, he's probably just critically a bit short, yeah. it's definitely no problem to get around this. But, you know, we've seen these long guards catch the eye and then uh, the stones also, so uh, this is a tempter because he yeah, thinks he can right. see a little edge of it and yeah, you know, do you put on a little bit more weight and then it runs a little straighter than you expect, so this is by no means uh, in the bag for him, this is still a tricky, tricky shot facing two. But we'll have a, a watch of his release this time and see what we think. Oh. Oh. A bit more positive. Certainly, I think it's lots a little of revs more weight, that doesn't it? And, uh, but it's already going. Yeah, that, that's really, uh, it's caught the guard again. Now this is interesting. If I had any memory at all, last night we were finding that um, I think the third. I think it was maybe these five and six. The third player stones were moving a little bit more. Red. Red. I think. Uh, I think if I was playing, I think I was playing red last night. Um, 
I'm Alex. either talking absolute nonsense or there is a little bit of... That's right, or genius. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's yeah. often the way with me. <laughs> um, I think that the Reds were going, I think uh, five and six, if they're playing them in their numbers, the, the guys thought did go a little bit more and that certainly drew a that lot. That one certainly went because they didn't jump on that one. The first one they jumped yeah. on because he knew he was inside in a way. Mm -hmm. there, was, there wasn't the panic sweeping on that one, no. so uh, whether he's just got a cutter there. Yeah, I think maybe a little. But the, again, by the what to be in the sixth end, they should know. They should have uh, registered that by now. Well, keeping it quite open. simple there. Yeah. He, he went for the hit to try and. I, I guess he's maybe thinking that his stones weren't good enough for a steal. Mm -hmm. Therefore, he's just thinking of the force. Well, and you know we said it. Guarding on super, you know, a nice that swings a lot at the end. It is tricky. Yeah. So he maybe thought, I leave that red there, I don't get my guard 100%, I'm looking like losing, losing a two. two. That's right, because it was lying second yeah. shot. So I think that's a fair call. It just didn't get maybe a bit bigger roll over as he was looking for. He'll be happy with the, the force here. If he can force a one. Yeah, well he's, gonna be yeah. he's got a chance here. He's got a chance to hit this on the left-hand side and come in behind these three staggered guards. Yeah. But he's, yeah. They both, both skips are even 100% end, aren't they? You know, to kind of secure what they're yes. looking for, and uh, they both have a chance with the way the stones are are set up. So be interesting. So get the, getting the roll off this one. They're certainly working it hard, but no, not much of a no, roll not at all. Enough. So not enough. So well. Yeah. So you'd expect Bowman to make this on the nose would be. I think on the nose would be good because it would mean that the next hit wouldn't necessarily be that yellow there, yeah. it's close. It'd be close, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, maybe, maybe just. He could, well, he certainly can't roll very far out. This, this is Bowman's last stone. Yeah. I think yeah. he'll go for the nose hit. Mm -hmm. um, and then he, would, he wouldn't have a lot of room on the thin side to kind of get through there. Well, terribly, we also saw Marburg's draw through the rings a couple exactly. of nights ago and against, yeah. a, against a three, so. If he got a wee half roll in behind there, you know, he'd be sitting in the eight foot an in-between in type weight yeah, to play. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Very steady Eddie and it was uh, a fair bit of weight on this one. So they're not rolling in the way. Yeah, I don't think that's where he wants to roll because now he has got a straightforward, straightforward nose, nose hit. hit. I think that's the wrong side of the stone. Yeah. Or maybe he wanted a little more roll to go in behind. But personally, I wouldn't have been going that way. Not by plan. It's a wee bit of pressure for Malberg here. He's got to he's got to stick this one really. One down already. He doesn't want to Yeah. The worst the best he could lose would be losing one, I guess, but then it's quite difficult to lose one. I think if he starts rolling Got up. Losing everything. I think Take take his one. Com comes a two end game mm -hmm. with uh, Bowman with the hammer at the start of it. So Bowman will be happy with that. Yeah, I think so. I mean, ideally, if he could have uh, snuck a wee steal there to go two up, that you know would have been would have been nice. But I think uh, I think Plan B would have been make the force, or maybe even Plan A at the beginning of the end. So we'll see. My guess is not a guard. This time. So just going into the last couple of ends of our broadcast match. It's a three all draw at the moment, tie at the moment. Alexander Bowman's German team have the hammer in seven, so they're in control of the scoreboard at the moment. Well, they're happy with the line, but what are they, uh, what are they thinking? Skips out front, skips looking for a guard. 
So, um, looking to play at the end for the steal. It's reasonably tight too. That's uh, actually quite a good, a good card. Cryptic. Close enough that Bowman thinks it's tickable. So yeah, here he goes. First uh, tick that we've seen played by Sebastian Schweitzer. Yep. Looking just to push Marburg stone over slightly to the side. Whoa. Move it from the danger zone. It's a nice but not totally out of play. It is a nice play. He got enough of it to do. Well, you know, he's moved it he's a little. Moved it. And yeah, he's it's not right bang on the centre tape, so. He's got, he's got a counter in. The only, the, the only yeah, downside you can see is he's not quite cleared the in-turn path if it came down to it, and that stone was still there. Wouldn't be able to draw the button on that in-turn, but... Um, yeah, it shifted it just just about enough. It was unfortunate because it was a, a nice weight. It was a well-thrown yeah. stone, yeah, just... Uh, and only needed to go another inch of draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, didn't need to catch much more. Anyway, we're back to type and mm -hmm. Swedish lads hitting. <laughs> Never known a lead throw so many strikes as this boy. I know. He, he does throw them well. <laughs> he's in the wrong position then if he wants to. Yeah. Anyway, well, he's not didn't that throw one that one so well. Johannes Katz, he's, uh, he's played quite well. I don't think he's been... Uh, Julie challenged. Made, yeah, he's not made too many mistakes, but... Oh, I thought we were going to go around the around the high side there, but uh, he's going to stick with the conventional outturn draw behind this. He's taking the game by the scruff of the neck here, mm -hmm. going in early with his stones. Yeah, I think. Um, I thought he might have maybe even just draw one. Oh, does he want to? Does he really want to score here if he doesn't think he's going to get two? Yes, the, well, exactly. Not, so. I thought, as I said, I thought he was going to try and play the in-turn draw, yeah. which. Yeah, I quite like that round the, round the outside. Sometimes means that you're not drawn into a race to the button that yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. Yes, good. I know if you're, yes, if you're showing them half on the other side, on then you're, you know, it's... Okay, right. Right. Go on. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. go. But they're certainly That's sweeping so hard again on this, Good. but it's um, it's got a nice oh, line. That'll be oh. quite well behind. Yeah, I think so. Might have wanted a foot deeper, but then with a the guard that length, this, maybe early this the is end, a, maybe a good spot. Yeah. Yeah, they've certainly. I mean, their draw rounds have been have been really good, haven't they? They've been. Both teams have have done well at getting uh, the position they want. But. Yes. My bear's time clock uh, ticking away there down to 13 minutes. I don't, don't think that's really a, a disaster for two ends. So that's still lots of time, isn't it? And it's really on an end and a half now. So should be should be bags of time. This is moving, you know, I think they're working hard on this early. I would be surprised if... Oh, this looks like it's all over the guard. Shy of weight, wasn't What's it, really? to that when he's... Did that catch something, I think, or has that just been I don't know, they were, they were on it early, I he's think. He's probably uh, distraught about it, but he's, he's a long way from where he wanted to be. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> distraught. I wouldn't Can expect him to be... Perhaps distraught at this stage, but oh, yeah, it's not good. It's not dramatise the situation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Distraught. I've been distraught many a time myself, but not, not, not maybe. on the ice. Well, yeah, for sure on the ice. But those are other stories. Seventh end. Well, it was a good story you gave us half off earlier on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You see. Perhaps a good job we're not commentating together later in the weekend, or I may have been giving even more <laughs> half stories. Yeah. Now it's looking, um, it's looking like maybe they could score a two this end. 
we've got uh, we've got the opportunity, but um, this is uh, at some point he's going to have to play a really good shot in behind this line of gut, the stones, isn't he? Yeah, either, I mean, uh, either this hit move halfway across, then halfway again the next time, or yeah, they're calling the the big goal yeah, over this time. Straight, so straight away, yeah. I'm quite surprised because uh, it is, you know, we're on second players. It's a big gamble, isn't it? Well, is it? It's. It just seems like they're they're setting their stall out quite early in the end. Yeah, I think so. You play this. There's no uh, no opportunity to bail then, is there? No, no. Once once he, if he goes for this, then he's playing this, the game in the house. Yeah. If he's wanting to bail, he starts pinging off his own guards at the front there and takes some collateral damage behind them. Yeah. But. Um, I guess worst case scenario he loses a two, he's got to make his two in the eighth and then try and steal down the ninth. That's not that's not gonna be what he's looking to happen this end, so he would be going all out for uh, all out to stop that happening, but I think this is uh, I think this is a big He's got such a small margin to hit here to get this into the the technically most difficult position. So mm -hmm. Eight foot of roll. Yeah, it's a big shot, and uh, to be fair, uh, Vincent hasn't. You know, he's and a couple of half stones. Well, yeah, he ha I think he struggled a little. I think he would have. I think there'll have been games that he's played played better and felt a little more confident, and they're having to work hard, this. Really. Yeah, this is a way, isn't it? I don't think he even hit it. Oh lordy, that's a uh, that's a long way off, wasn't it? He was looking for that half of the stone, but that was practically a stone a inside it. Yeah. It? yeah. So bound in the position now of almost too many <laughs> lying too well. Where'd you put this next one? It's a nice shot of the. What do you do to make the next stone difficult? The crowd, the crowd there. watching. Yeah. Anybody famous there? No. I saw the famous Jackie Byers, I think. Very famous. Very famous. Possibly more famous as Jackie Reed, but she's been Jackie Byers for for maybe a while yeah, now. Maybe now. More famous as Mrs. Byers. Well, that's a terrible thing to say. You a double world champion. Famous for being a missus. Though. A double world champion. Yeah, but nobody wants to be famous for being somebody's wife. <laughs> <laughs> Dare I say? <laughs> she's a, she's a very lovely curler in her own right. Anyway. Back to this game before we land ourselves in any bother, any more bother. They're working this one hard. Yeah, he's just it's difficult. Maybe know where to put this one. He's keeping it well away from the danger zone. He's yeah, thrown into the back ring. Thrown there now. So, go for this hit and roll again. He's, he's kind of in for a penny, in for a pound. Oh, oh he for sure is now. Or you know, would you freeze that one? It's uh, that's your only other option to freeze that one there in the back of the eight foot, which. In for a krona, in for a yeah. appropriate I, don't, I think, I, I guess if he doesn't roll too far, then there's a chance that um, Bowman's team jam it on the back. But yeah. It's a big roll. It's a big roll, but the, the, but the other call is even bigger, isn't it? Playing the cold draw yeah. against nothing. Uh -huh. Yeah, he could freeze that back one, couldn't he? Or come you know, he's seen the or, or, or coming, yeah, coming there. Yeah, that is a that's a big that's huge. That's for later. Yeah, I think it is, and I think he's potentially going to have to do that. We'll see. Yeah, there's been a couple of half shots, but. Um, uh, Bowman's team here have actually, they've put their stones exactly where they've wanted yeah, them. They've made it end. Difficult. Yeah, they've made it difficult. Didn't help that. I think that distraught stone early on actually probably, or probably was the was worse than I maybe first called it. Yeah. Double guarded. Yeah, that was, that. he, he maybe did deserve to yep. be slightly distraught yep. about it. Like, what have we got going on here? This looks like it's uh, overdrawing again. They're going to roll, but are they going to roll too far? They might hold sitting up there, rolling too far and not even second Goodness, shot. Not even second shots. Away, away, away. No. Nope. It's 
so does uh, yeah, Bowman just replace that one? Does he put it back in the same I think shot? So. I he doesn't want to get. He don't want to be too deep. Caught in a guddle. No, no, he uh, he certainly doesn't want to come round the guards again himself okay, because he comes in a little too deep. Then uh, yeah, he's called the simple. Just yeah, just take this one uh, for his to lie three. Yeah, that's that's probably the sensible it's shot, very isn't safe, it? Very safe, very safe. Just keeps everything out. You'll not see all the stone, so he's he's going to have to watch out for that top guard. And we've seen uh, seen a couple just go here as well. Yeah. No. Yep. I think Manuel shows throws a slight, maybe a soft dish handle. Just kind of comes over the top of the handle there and yeah. lifts it. Yeah. But this looks like it's. Uh, yeah, good yeah, shot. That's super. That's super uh, so. that's ideal if you're yellow. So here we go. I think he has. To, is he's going to go for the yeah, I think he has clutch to. shot now. I think he has to because I mean, at worst, it's a practice for his next one, isn't it? He's going to have to make it with his. This is number six stone. So. Oh. How'd you get out of this one? What's the what's the what's the best that Sweden can do from here? They can obviously get a steal. Mm -hmm. oh, that's going to require one, one brilliant shot oh, and a couple of half misses, I think, by Germans. Yeah. I think if they could get, you know, ultimately they're going to want to be top four foot, aren't they? Not even as far as the tee, probably, with uh, Maberg's last stone, potentially. Yeah. Um, they're going to want to be there, yeah. And this is probably, he probably does need to hit here. I keep forgetting that he's not playing... Um, Last oh, I see, right, yes, okay. Yeah, yeah no, I think uh, he's... Nose hitting this one, or just rolling over slightly. I don't think he can get the double across to the far back one, so... No. And, and he doesn't lie the shot if he rolls into the back of the eight foot either, I think, so... I don't think he'll want to roll too far, Alan, um, because... kind of knows this. He needs to... A couple of strikes, just brings the angles up. Yeah, the rink. yeah. Maybe gives him a chance to hit roll again. He rolls too far Come this time, on. then he... Although he... Bauman doesn't want to come round that guard too early yet either, so uh, what have we got with um, I don't think that was It's a bit of a nothing shot, I yeah. think it's replace it. Yeah, I think chance to play the intern draw around the back of the I wouldn't be coming round there yet. I think that's them, keep them well separated yeah, here. Yeah, absolutely. Especially, especially if you can keep it deep. In and yeah, he's quite happy to throw back, back eight, back isn't corner. he? Yeah. Comes down to a one stone draw to the button, I think, for uh, Patrick at the moment. Yeah. They can I mean, draw on this one. He certainly, he wants, at this stage, he would be really disappointed if he's not scoring more than one. But he can't, he can't really force the issue just yet. No, it just, it just, it just requires... Patrick Marburg's to get a really good drawing now, mm -hmm. probably this one. Yeah, I think he has to this time. Yeah. He can't wait and, and play a hit this time and then gamble on making his draw the, the next time. I think he has to yeah. try the draw if he's really lucky, or not lucky. If he makes his shot well and Bauman misses, he'll have a chance to guard. Guard up. You know, and, and really put the pressure on, but... I, he, yeah, he has to throw the he has to throw the draw, and it has to be a pretty good draw, I think, too. Yeah, he's not got a lot of uh, airspace to hit there. Um, no, because if he comes deep, that's not really. I don't think that's a lot of use either. Yeah. Maybe yeah. takes the bat too out of play, but yeah, I don't, I don't think he'll want to be deep. I think he wants to be top quarter of the forefoot. It's overhead shot here. Yeah, really straight good, handle to good start with. Work here. This is an out turn draw, that is straight hand. So there's it? a bit of play then, isn't there? And that's when, yeah. That's when you can just oh, ping them out, isn't it? Yeah. Sweepers are on it early. They're not, uh, they're yeah, obviously more not more super more confident of the weight, but they're yeah, yeah. Uh, they're looking. Pats is working oh, yeah. very he is, hard. He's, he's at a tough end. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, been yeah. on the inside for four yeah, stones yeah. in a row now and had to sweep every yeah. single one yeah. of them hard. Come here, come here, come here. This is uh, it's just shy, just shy of cut it down. Cut it down, I think, to one. Oh, the boy's feeling it. Let's see. Give that boy some isotonic juice. I think he'll be recovered and ready to go by the next one. No, he looks a pretty fit cookie. Well, if you're Bowman, what do you think? 
Do you think he can catch enough of the chance inside to get of more that? Than a two. Yeah. I don't think he can get the inside. I think that's too risky. I think he could he could try and lie. He could try and lie behind that. You know, if I was drawing and I was him, I might be tempted to come the other hand again. You know, round there. But then he will make the come around. We have no chance. Yeah. You know, if he pops one round the outside, what does... Uh, He's trying to draw the button behind that red guard he just played. Yeah, yeah I think uh, trying to get... I would say trying to get the forefoot on the intern hand. It might be tough to know the ice for it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's... I think, you could, I think you could play into um, Weber's hand coming down this, ha this hand, though. I think if he comes, yeah. Top, top four on the out turn with no inside roll possible. With no inside roll possible, but yeah. I mean, the margins for error are, are small on either. He, he daren't come deep. He'll be glad he uh, was getting on with business in the, the first few ends, <laughs> nice. so now he's got plenty of time to, to think about this and, and have a good team discussion, and, and all four are certainly involved. Oh, I don't think he'll go back there. No. Because he... I don't want to leave him the whole four foot. Correct. Uh, I think that's a wise, a wise choice. But um, yeah, you've got nothing. You've got nothing to bring those bottom two yellows into play, really. No, they're they're out of the game now. Yeah. So. I I like this too. so he makes a nice draw here. He's still yeah, looking like scoring or having the chance of scoring a two. But I don't know why you would go there. Looking at drawing to the far side and leaving the hole of the four foot open. I think you've got to take control of the four foot here. Yeah. And, and then you give him a hit and roll. And you're four star one. Make him play. Yeah, you know, if you come over to this this other quarter and you're you're sitting right on the eight foot heat, oh, yeah, I don't like this call. So he's just trying to draw fully eight foot, do you think? Yeah. Lie, lie the shot in the, on the right hand side of the screen as we look at it in the eight foot circle. So T weight. Yeah, he can't he can't go halfway into the twelve because he's he's got to lie lie two. Because no. that front red's not going anywhere. You wouldn't think. No, I think he wants this one to lie the shot. Mm -hmm. He wants this one to be the number one shot so that uh, Marburg has, has to chase, chase it. it. Yeah. Ah, uh, they're thinking it's got plenty more. Well, neither working. It's a good eight. It's a good eight. Uh, I would have thought that a good eight. Why are they sweeping it so hard? I don't want it to be a. I don't want it to be a nine. Now that you see, I think they've overswept that. They have. That's a wasted shot, to my mind. It's done yeah, nothing. Yeah, it's done nothing there. I think. Um, I think if anyone should be distraught, that should be the sweepers. Now's the time for distraughtness. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, that's poor. I think uh, I think he played that well. Yeah. It. it and uh, they had. They could have been a yard lighter than that. Yeah. They swept it practically the whole okay. way down, didn't they? They yeah. kind of stopped top of the house. They wouldn't even stop long before then or not get started yeah. quite so early. So, yeah, so yeah. left um, left the door open a little bit here for Marburg. So, admittedly, it's only going to be a one steal and Bowen will still be one down with the hammer. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, pretend maybe he's not. So, maybe he thought that was better than being one up that, with. Yeah. Yeah. But I think at that point he was still looking for really in the driving seat to make two, two, two wasn't maybe he? even more. Yeah. And who's to say? Yep. Poor Pats is having to. Here he goes work again. again. <laughs> yeah, they're really going hard. This has to be line shot by the time they're finished. Or Here comes that's touching the middle team now. Oh, that's a <laughs> an interesting. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? It was pretty good for away there, wasn't it? He would. Yeah. That would have been good. Mm -hmm. Just that slight feathering, anyways. Again, the momentum the swings again. Just changed again, yeah. yeah. There he goes. He sees. He's going to need that all, d all of that dinner tonight. I think he is. Yeah. 
depending how this goes, he'll be uh, looking at getting up early tomorrow if, uh, if it doesn't go well. Did he jump down to... Losers on at half past eight in the morning. Oof. Actually, it's a, it's a no, no win, no lose situation because the winner plays at 8.30 in the morning as well, right? so, in, oh a well. in a different road. Yeah. I think you'd rather be in the B road at 8.30 <laughs> than the C road at 8.30. But yeah, nice anyway, shot there, good shot, control, yeah. nice control, control weight toll. Bowman takes his two, Yeah. So he'll as we expected all the way through that end. Well, yes, until the sort of his second last stone really kind of threw the cat amongst the pigeons a little, but uh, he'll be happy with that. He's going to feel quite comfortable with a, a two-shot lead going down the last even without last stone. Yep. But, uh, First stone shouldn't be in the ring. Uh, shouldn't be in the guard zone. It should be into the rings and yeah. take it from there. You know what though? I wouldn't. I would not be surprised if this has an extra end written all over it. You know, we've seen a lot of half shots. Bowman's team, I think, have perhaps. Been the Just at the edge, yeah. Yeah, they have they have been a little more consistent and, and made the shots when they count, but I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if Mabers managed to From the two out the bag. Yeah, string a string an end together. That's all they need. Yeah, you know, well that's right, and, and, that's, and it's not really what they've had so far though. Yeah, there's just always been a couple of loose shots yep. which so have uh, kind of eight out of eight then uh, yeah, let's see. We're off and running again anyway. So we're in our eighth end. Some of the other <laughs> games are now close to completion or, oh, or completed. I can see that uh, <laughs> Russian Timofeev has won his B road game against LM Setter. Van Dorp's very much in control against Attinger. All the rest of the games, I think, are quite tight. So we'll update those as they all conclude, if they're within the time frames of our game. So, a nice opening draw by Schweitzer. Just hit, hit the back of the button. Back of the button, perhaps, is not... Uh, not maybe where we wanted to go. It's not, not ideal, but it's but not... Yeah, it's not a disaster. It's not, it's not back of the forefoot. Which would have been less less uh, handy, yeah. but young Mr. Pats is uh, throwing the corner. Oh, this is very close to going in. Oh, he's four feet close to going in. Maybe two. That's a nice stone. That that, that drew up quickly. Because <laughs> that was game over if that had gone in. Well, it certainly should, should yeah. He, it, we would have been seeing more distraught curlers <laughs> on the ice. Anyhow, here we go. Are we coming close or is he coming right onto it? Looking right onto it, maybe? He's looking, he's looking for the same distance. Shy of the tee this time, I think. This is last oh, one. It's, it's got a bit of line to get yeah, to find yet. But it's. Uh, we do, do a fair bit of movement in yeah, the last. Uh, last good end. there. Good there. Slight angle to maybe use the yeah. corner guard or just go in, yeah. go in straight away. I think they're not perfect. I'm going to be a little yeah. harsh. Harsh. Yeah. I think they would have wanted them much closer together and, and less of an angle on them, but who am I? Well, he's going in behind the corner guard with his lead second stone here, which means that Bowman will then peel off the guard. Yeah, another corner wouldn't have been a or over the other side or he's uh, you know he's relying on misses or yeah jam, jams yeah if he'd thrown another corner they would only be able to take one of the corners off and then you're yeah, you know, there's I guess it's what you find to so we're we're starting the peeling as you would yeah. expect. Marburg still has to move two stones out of the forefoot. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> this early in the end, it's certainly looking like advantage to Bowman. Ooh. 
Oh, Ooh. well, not now. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best commentator's curse I think I've ever heard. <laughs> Halfway down the ice, I managed to make a stone okay. miss. That's uh, that's quite the quite the talent. So that was extraordinary. I'll do that again. <laughs> I daren't. I daren't. That's clearly what happened to my own peels. I would think, oh my that's lord, this is going to mess. And then it did. Anyway, um, before we get distracted, what are we doing with this one? Coming well, on I think to he's making a play in the, play in the middle stones now. Back. He's giving plenty of ice. It's almost like he's coming to, the, coming to the back one, do you think? I think I'd be tempted to be moving the top one first. You come to that back one and then you're, uh, it's always there to be used as a, as a weapon, isn't it? I'm surprised he's not hitting one of these ones and trying to roll over to the right-hand side. The huge separation between his two stones. Yeah. Putting the pressure on Bowman's teams to, to make a double sum along with this. Yeah, I, um, I, don't I don't think that was That's necessarily... a good tactical uh, call, so he can flick this one out. He's still going to be lying two against. Yeah, I think the top one was the one to... To make the play on there. Um, Safety first. Take the take the guard. Yeah, I I suppose maybe like we said earlier, this kind yeah. of unorthodox throwing in a couple of random calls maybe makes makes uh, Alexander think a little and perhaps make choices that he wouldn't make the wrong choices. Cho choose, yeah. but he's uh, he's the going guard, for the guard here, guard which here is probably one. he can lose a two. He can't lose. He can't lose a three. These stones are lying. But a guard is uh, is not going to be his friend. That's coming into the play. That's coming into play here. Oh, oh dear. lord! <laughs> yeah, well. well, there you go. Good, good call by uh, Neumann earlier, a minute ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was always the stone to play. The <laughs> tapping back onto the. Yeah, that's. Um, that's a big miss. Well, he obviously he changed hands on him because he didn't. He, he freshed on the the intern, but I think you would still have been playing it on the intern. That you know, playing it on that hand, you were wanting to come right over the face. You move the stone you're hitting to yeah. the narrow side. Yeah. You didn't want that stone to be coming anywhere near. Thought we had to cut really fine to cut across the face of those ones in the house. Yeah, no, so that's um, so. Well, he's now set himself up to have to play probably three doubles in a row as a team. But to, you would have to, to think that round. Maberg was certainly not counting on this being the no, situation. That was a bonus. So he's was probably a, um, a little confused about <laughs> what do I play with, and it could be, you know, what it's like. Um, There'll be too many stones in play, well, almost. Somewhere. So there's, there's bound somewhere. to be doubles, and uh, you end up getting a double and maybe even a handy wee check on another yeah. stone. Um, so, although you would rather be red currently, uh, it could end up. Yeah. So that there's. Uh, takes this one in the top left corner first. He's got the double behind it, or if he's narrow on it, he's got the double. Chris is. We'll keep another count in play. Yeah, but this is the hand that there are the piece of ice that they're they're, they're not struggling with. So, we'll see, certainly... Um, at the moment, it's just a nose hit. Tightened it up. Just a nose hit. Silence. Yeah, that's uh, not always what you Ooh. want. Yeah. So, Marberg, does he uh, put it back in the same spot? Does he choose to freeze one? Does he... Same spot, maybe? He might want to go slightly nearer to that yellow half round there. Doesn't want the keep doesn't want the freeze on the back though, does he? No, I think he probably wants to keep this one well out of play. If he can get it all the way across the left hand side, almost lying fourth shot. Mm -hmm. This angle here and the two ones on the right hand side of the sheet is really steep. Yeah. And I guess the the back ring there is far enough back that the the freeze on there isn't going to help. Uh, he's going the other way. He's ignoring us. He's going the other way. He's playing. Is he? He's playing towards the two stones on the right hand side. I think. Is it going out? Or? Oh, you see these, you see these skips that can't be bothered Changing taking their hand, their hand out of their pocket. Yeah. Yeah. They should be signalling. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're working, working reasonably hard on this. They've given young Mr. Pats a rest from the, the stone. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good here, I think. He gets a little, has he got the bite? Oh, he doesn't oh, even see, that make the house. On that and sweep it. 
Gee whiz. I, ca I cannot quite comprehend the number of errors. Sweeping errors. Yeah, and I mean throwing. He, he, uh, they were on that one. That was light. All, all you have to do is draw the 12 foot there. Uh, how many the have we seen? Yeah, the position. But no! Yeah. He had a huge margin of error. He could be anywhere in that top quarter, and he was like yeah. three, four good ones. We've seen the um, the skip and third of uh, Team Maberg's um, Patrick and Frederick really struggle with their draws. We've seen some through the house. We've seen some, you know, yeah. really I well that short. Was that was the line that he did put one through the back. So yeah. it's just taken a fraction of a, a second of, of running off it. Yeah. yeah, and I guess the big draw when when yep. they're drawing away from the house it doesn't big, take much big swing on that yeah. turn away from but uh, Bowman makes a double here and we're looking well he doesn't uh, or get a roll no. so that wasn't that again they haven't capitalised on the error that they've been given the middle, yeah. yeah still um, that's a flat the two reds that are left that's they're flat very flat I can see yeah. it inside the side of the window here. those are flat oh yeah yeah um, so a nose hit probably probably does Frederick here yep. and then what does Bowman do does he freeze it and say well freeze it's one in the centre I think be tempted yeah. no. not really got a double going no. on no. leave that for your last one Yeah, that's shot, exactly yeah. what he wanted to do. So hit the inside of this, he's looking at the double. Very thin, isn't All it? double as well, 15 feet. 17 feet. You know, it's a, it's a big call as well. He could make the hit and roll off the one on the, the four, you know, the four foot in behind here. Not got much to go to. No, he's not got yeah. a great deal. I think start with the further forest one and get something off it. You can see, you might. Even if you stay in the house, you could. You um, could get this long double. Of, I think that's yeah. what we're looking at is the long double. We'll, call, we'll say that's his number one shot he's looking at. Yeah, yeah. He's trying to get his hit and roll in front of the, the, the shot stone. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That seems to be the the call, and, and it's. Uh, and his, his third option. Sensible. The third option, I suppose, would be the really skinny double, but nobody not ever playing it much weight. You know. He's just trying to make sure he gets a yellow in front of a red. Mm -hmm. Trying to hold the shooter. <laughs> My word. That's another sweeping error, is it? No. Ooh. That was very nearly. I mean, that was that was a great shot. <laughs> That's a very That's well judged. I just said that was at that kind coast, of weight. coast to coast double. Yeah. You know, mo you would see most of those coming down with a little more weight behind them, I think, Alan. Wouldn't you try to sort of... Yeah, Especially when you're, as you're trying to hit a stone yeah. that far away. Yeah. That was. Uh, I mean, ideally, he probably did need a bit more weight because he wanted rid of that mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Marburg still has a shot to lie three. Yeah. Which is and the, there will which not the be a, There'll not be an easy double potentially. Well, Although the, the, the two, the, the two yeah. beside his brush yeah. might be double blown. That's if he's a touch high on this, until he takes out his own counter. Yeah. And, and probably squirts out himself. Yep, so. yep. No, they're not thinking it's high. It's in turn line, catch them out again, I think. No. She was. Well, I think your extra end's looking good. Well, you know what? I'm not even confident of that yet. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen so many kind of half shots. Uh, well, he's got this, this, yeah, this double. Yeah, Bowman could come this, down here and make this double. This double's actually uh, steeper than it was. Yeah, gosh. Would you so believe that? At match. one point, you know, f four shots ago, they're drawing to lie four. Yeah. They I fail with that. Then they're hitting to lie three, Bowman's and they fail with that. The you know, to be fair. Although it, maybe not, because even if he jams on there, that red might be split yes. on the front. That'd yeah. be exciting. Well, that would be good. They'd bounce it off the yellow and in. I hope they would go. Yep. Well, they'd have to go for it. Maybe they'd go for it for yeah. three. They'll go for it. Ooh, yeah. right. If he only takes one of them. He's missed it. Ooh. Ooh, split for the... Ooh. See? Ooh. 
Remember that first end was really dull, and the second end was quite <laughs> you dull. You can hardly believe it and now. And now we've got <laughs> a split for three for the match. It's all happening now. Gosh, need a bit more of that. So what do you reckon? He's going for He's it. Going for it. Oh, now. Is he going to get a two out of this at least? Make your call, Al. Make your call. Extra end draw. He's going to get one of them in. He's definitely getting the, he's definitely getting the one that's in play there in. Whether he can get enough action off his running stone. Oh, okay, so you think Depends he's... Depends he's playing. It's not taking much ice. He must yeah. be playing it firmish, which means that he's got the potential of... Well, I don't know what to go for. Hitting it across the face and only scoring one. Yeah. What kind of weight would you play? Hack weight? Yeah, looks like that's bigger what he's than playing. Bigger than hack. It's bigger than hack. Oh, gosh, he's only going to score one. I don't think we're going to get our extra end. He's going to miss this. Oh, my God, he, he says. He doesn't it. like it. Oh, dear. Well, that was anticlimactic. That was... Um, that was terrible. That was a terrible shot. You had to make sure had you were making <laughs> two. I think it was the weight. I think they should have taken more ice and thrown hack to back yeah. hack at the very that very most that was to miss too it on the heavy low, to miss it on the low side. that was barrier wasn't it i mean that was i mean any contact on it it was coming into the yellow and spitting yeah, back yeah, for, your, for yeah. your two yeah you'd have lost your shooter way over there somewhere but uh that's uh, not hit the object stone no that's a that's a poor poor shot so but anyway. part, part of that was because he didn't yet know that in turn ice i think mm -hmm. he had two draws through the back one short couple of things yeah and it just didn't you know the playing just the, playing the intern harder. into that stone would you i think i might have come i think i might have come the same hand he came would have given you a definite two well unless you overdraw yes well you know that way if you're throwing back ring you're and you overdraw yeah. you're still going to get your two anyway anyway it's on the board as, bowman. as a bowman victory over Marburg's five to four and to be fair they were the better they team. were the better team yeah it would have been slightly against the run of play if uh, Marburgs had taken the three there, but there were chances for chances for were both, both teams, teams I think. Even, even, with, out. even with Bowman being the better yeah. team, I think there were yeah. chances. There were um, yeah. lots of mistakes, to be fair. I think that that would be the... We c there was nice stones across the piece as well, but uh, there were a lot, no of, a lot of mistakes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway, it was a nice afternoon's viewing with you, Alan. Thank you for that. Yes, thank you. Uh, that is my last stint of the day. I think you run again tonight. I'm on again this Rob. afternoon. Yeah, straight away, I think. The 4.15, is it 4.15 or 4.30? A-Road Semi. You're on the A-Road Semi and a, mm. with a 4.30 start. So, yeah, yeah you've got no so gap. So, I'll have uh, time for a quick cuppa okay, and then I'll be back. Yeah. Okay. Just seeing a few of the highlights before we just close out the, the broadcast. Have we got anything we can update? It looks like... Uh, Tom and Fister are uh, in the eighth end with Tom 2-1 up but without last stone. Uh, Bryce is looking in a commanding lead against Drummond at 6-3. Schwaller and Simmons are peeled playing seven. Um, Rana and Marazumi are peeled Peels playing eight. eight. Yep. That's a, an exciting game. And Creek and McDonald are peeled playing eight. So uh, yeah, good games across the peach and a uh, piece of attinger and van dorp that looks like it must be quite close as well because lots of stones in play so yeah good games okay thank you everyone good night and uh, enjoy the next game as they come around thank you